There you go, get him. There he goes, running. Running. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Hey, guys, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, clean your rod and reel after saltwater use. Uh, what I like to start off with is a squirt bottle in the water. And uh, I just squirt down the rod and reel uh, real good, trying to get some of the salt water off that uh, they have gotten onto it while fishing. Once I do this, I get a little rag and I wipe, wipe it all back off. Sure to get into your eyes on your rod. Just like to get in here and get all that water I just got off of it. Hopefully, get out any dirt, any salt water that got onto the rod and reel while, while using it. Once I do that, what I've got, what I'll do next is I get uh, some Ledge Lemon Furniture Polish. And I'll uh, Spray that on there, and that'll give it a little bit of oil, uh, you know, to keep keep the corrosion down on it, and uh, hope to keep it from from corroding. I'll just spray it on there, and then once you get that all sprayed, go back and wipe it off just like you did the water. Do this after every trip to the salt water. Uh, it should help you keep your rod and reel in top shape and hopefully uh, keep it working for an extra few years. Um, help keep the corrosion off of it in between uses. Um, be sure to get as much, much of it back off as you can. Wipe it down real good. If some stays on it, that's okay. It should, should be able to come right off. And that's it. That's all you got to do to maintain your rod and reel after uh, a day out on the salt water. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tip.